Hi, I'm Gary Pye, and since 2014 I've been an animator and developer using Cartoon Animator. And during that time I've had the chance to work with a lot of talented developers and animators. And recently a small team of us got together and decided that we'd like to try and collaborate on working on a project of recreating a full cartoon of the type of cartoons that we used to watch as kids on television, the sort of thing like Tweety and Sylvester. And we wanted to try and create a character that was less like a cardboard cutout, just moving across the screen, and a character that had real personality and depth, and using the squash and stretch uh, features of Cartoon Animator to try and get a real performance out of them. But the two problems that we had, one, we all have to work remotely because we're all in different countries and we're all in different time zones. So Cartoon Animator was able to help us bring all that together. And second of all, we gave ourselves a time limit of exactly two weeks to get this done. So I thought I'd share this video with you to show you the process of how we went through to make this project. The first thing we needed was a character and an idea. We knew we wanted a character that was as basic as possible so that the real challenge would be to bring such a simple character to life. And Buzz Blowfly was born. A little blue ball with four sticks for legs. Once the initial design of the character was complete, I went about drawing the final model in Coral Draw using Bezier curves, then broke up all the parts as individual sprites and assembled the character in Cartoon Animator. I was also able to easily add a bone structure inside the character so he could bend and stretch for movement. I set up Buzz to have a 360 degree head to give him the flexibility of movement which would allow a level of realism to his movement and help make him more believable and less like a cardboard cutout. Finally, we had a complete character. We always knew we wanted this cartoon to have the look and feel of the old Warner Brothers cartoons we'd watched on TV as kids, like Sylvester and Tweety. With a rough story idea of Buzz trying unsuccessfully to steal a whole steak off a barbecue hot plate, we knew the locations that were required and went about creating the backgrounds, layering them up in Cartoon Animator so Buzz could move around with complete freedom. We had a rough plot outline in our heads, but we were able to discuss each scene in detail and share our ideas via online meetings to create a series of storyboards that would give us the plan we needed to start our final work. But before we could start animating, there was one final detail missing. Buzz needed his wings. Veteran hand animator Declan Walsh was able to create the most visually stunning wing prop combining a series of static hand-drawn images into a sequence which brought them to life and gave Buzz a whole new level of realism. I always make sure all of my dialogue is recorded prior to starting animation so that character timing can be matched up with voice tracks. Even though our voiceover artists were in totally different countries, after several conference calls to discuss what was required, they were each able to deliver the perfect reading. Frank, how are the steaks coming? I'm going over there to check on them, honey. With everything set up and everyone on the same page, it was time for the fun part, animating. This is where Cartoon Animator really helped us hit our deadline of two weeks. With the help of keyframing and automatic tweening, which takes out the tedious work of frame-by-frame -frame animation, the software allows us to see results instantly, make changes in real time, and work fast. One of the most important things with this character was to make sure that it didn't look like a cardboard cutout floating across the screen. Buzz needed to feel and move like a 3D character inhabiting a real world. The 360 head gave him natural head movement and Cartoon Animator's Deform tool gave us the ability to apply squash and stretch to the character, making his movements natural and smooth. With the final animation complete, there was one more step to go to make it look like the retro cartoons from our youth. So the project was handed over to Warwick Hayes, 
who used After Effects to add some blur to the character movements, making them softer. He was also able to desaturate the colours and add some film grain to age the movie. A musical score and additional sound effects were added, and at last, we had our final movie, all completed in 14 days. Without Cartoon Animator, a project of this size would have taken several months to produce and a much larger team of people to finish it. The thing I love about this software is that it takes all the hard work out of the tedious side of animating. Things like the tweening, uh, the G360 head rotation all happen in real time, which means you get live results, making it more cost effective, and we were able to bring a team of people to collaborate with it who are all over the world, do it instantly, and make the whole project cost effective by delivering it in two weeks. And Cartoon Animator, it, it gives professional results fast and effective.